everyone. In the marketplace of an old German town of Trier, two churches stand adjacent to each other. Watch and Pray is written under the belfry of one, and beneath the belfry of the other the scripture verse is completed, for you know not the day or the hour. Now as the clock chimes out, the people in the busy street below are reminded that our relatively short time in this world is to be used wisely in preparation for the world to come. Today, on the first Sunday of Advent, a call goes out to the whole church. Not a gentle coaxing appeal, but a loud dramatic exhortation. It is a wake-up call to watch and pray, for we don't know the hour when the Lord will come knocking on our door. Hence the need for vigilance. What does it say in the Gospel today? Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coarsened with debauchery, drunkenness and the cares of life. Now, looking up the Oxford Dictionary, I discovered that the word coarsened means not delicate in perception. Our heart may be not be coarsened by debauchery or drunkenness, although you wouldn't know, but what about the cares and worries of life? Trivial concerns could be getting us down, things we should be handing over to the Lord for healing and health. The Lord says, Come to me, all you who labour and are burdened, and I will give you rest. And again, he says, My peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Now, if we really believed in these words, nothing would get us down. But the problem is we only half believe what the Lord says. So, could the cares of life have blurred my perception of things spiritually and made me less than vigilant? The answer, according to today's Gospel, is a resounding yes. So in order to become more spiritually perceptive, I need to step back at times from life's treadmill and be still, not just to slow down my body, but also and especially my mind. That is not easy at all, especially in the run-up to Christmas. But having said that, if we are motivated enough, we can and will find time to be alone with God each day this Advent. How significant it is that at Christmas we find ourselves so easily caught up in twice our normal workload so that we have no time to listen to Christ's saving message but it is only when we learn to be still and listen that we begin to find him and understand that union with him is the very purpose of our existence. As the Bible says, in God alone is my soul at rest. We could easily absolve ourselves into thinking that all this extended activity before Christmas is for the sake of the family and that without us nothing would get done. Well, the cynic might add, the graveyard is full of indispensable people. During Advent, we open our hearts to God in preparation for the greatest birthday in the history of mankind. In sharing our human nature, our human condition, God offers us a share in his own divine life and forever. With Mary, we can say, we can ponder these things in our hearts. Thank you all now very much for listening and God bless you all. Oh.